What's up, everybody? Spare with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Elite Dangerous. Um, when we left off in the last episode, we were doing runs for the Crimson State Group during the war for Lug. That war has concluded. You can see under the Spear of Lug if you haven't already claimed it. I haven't. I hadn't been on in a few days. Um, that it says end the war, and we got 15 million credits. What? Oh, look at that bank account. Oh, look at it. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I feel happy. Oh, so happy. Alright, so 17 million. Oh, so amazing. So, there's a couple of things that I've been debating about. Um, one is buying a new ship. Now, we we all know that the clipper is only like 22 million, which we're not that far away. And I kind of wanted a clipper, but everybody's been talking about vultures. And since they're a newer ship, and I can actually like, I did a build on one of those tool things. Actually, before we get into this, um, let me set our new course. We're gonna. Um, I was told, I didn't realize it, um, that we're only. 25 light years away from uh, the yeah the founders world which we can see uh, maybe if it'll boot system map um, I think this is the right one anyway come on you can do it thank you uh, yeah this is the only system directly controlled by the pilots federation so that's where we want to go, which it's Shintra or Shintara. Oh, I need to plot a course. Duh. Whoa, that's a roundabout route. Whatever. Um, one other thing I wanted to look at, just on the off chance before we go, is under... What is it? Rares? No. Okay. I don't think they have any. Um, oh, let's check the Galnet, see if anything cool is going on. Um, no, it's been a, it's been a couple of days, um, since the, the Lugor ended, so we're, we don't really have anything interesting going on in the Galnet at the moment. The, all the, all the cool stuff is, is over. Um, we can see civil unrest. Crimson State is in a boom. So I'm not really sure if this system is completely taken over um, by the Crimson State yet, or if they just, like, kick the Federation out or not. I'm not really sure. But... Um, oh, and by the way, my... I did some modifications to my Viper, which some I liked, some I did not. Um, let's see if we can't get... I want to go here. Set a course... Okay, and then it's just waiting for it to be not mass-locked. Um, so I have two gimbaled pulse lasers, but I also now have two turreted pulse lasers. Um, I did this because in the last run that I did, um, I ended up, and let me turn off something so that I'm not running, well, no, I think everything that I can turn off is off. Anyways, um, so that I wasn't, I kept running out of ammo, basically, is the point. Um, and so it would make me basically turn around and come back and have to do quote-unquote another run but the thing that I wanted to do was not run out of ammo so I switched to full pulse lasers arguably not the best idea because the turrets were cool the turrets are fun um, because mostly due to their range of motion or not range of motion their uh, basically effective range of attack you can hit them hit things from multiple directions you can't do with just gimbaled. So that was really cool. Um, 
I'm not even paying attention to like where I'm going or how many jumps this is or whatever. Um, I probably do need to refuel at some point throughout this process. Um, anyways, so I did some modifications. Some of them I liked, some of them I didn't. I probably won't change it if I'm buying a new ship. I am going to keep my Viper just for a backup ship um, in case you know something happens to the Vulture and I can't afford it or whatever. Um, but overall, I, I was happy with the, the way the Viper came out. Um, I would probably go back to multi-cannons, though, if I was going to use it. I'd probably keep my turret weapons. Um, what do I have? I think the smaller ones are turrets, and the larger ones are gimbaled. So I'd probably switch them out to these being turrets and these being the gimbaled um, multi-cannons or something. I don't know. I don't know. But I probably wouldn't keep it the way that it is. Um, I would more than likely end up doing a... Uh, uh, some kind of combination with multi-cannons and, and lasers again. Um, but, so anyways, um, I think... I think we're gonna end up doing a vulture. But the Founder's World supposedly has a lot of ships. Like, almost all of them, with the exception of a couple, I guess? At least that's what I've been told. Um, so, I think we're more than likely going to end up with a vulture, but I did a build on some site thing that lets you kind of set things up, and I can afford the whole thing right now with 17 million, which is amazing. Um, so, I think, how many jumps do we have left? Five? I think I'm going to pause it, and then I'll come back when we're there. Okay, so we have arrived in the Founder's World. Um, Shinrar... Shinrarta. Desra. Sure. Why not? Um, bu -bu 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 I think... I think there's actually only one station here. I only see one, anyway. Um, Founder's World. Oh, that's the actual name of this of the planet that Jameson Memorial is next to. I did not know that. I thought the... I don't actually know how I came to the conclusion that it picked up that this was the Founder's World. Because <laughs> it has to look up things that are, like, in the system. I just didn't think there was actually a planet named Founder's World. That's kind of interesting. Um, in, in case you all are wondering, I've been told that you need to be an elite in one category to be able to get into the Founder's World. Um, but I actually already have a permit, as you can see here, under Sol and Akinar. Um, I have a Founder's World permit. I believe that was because I was in Premium Beta. Um, I don't remember if just Beta was enough to do that or not, or if you had to be in something further back, but I was, so it gave it to me anyway. Just in case anyone was like, whoa, 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 whoa. you're not an elite. How'd you do that? Uh, that is how. Although we're, we're getting there. I'm competent now in my combat ra raking. Um, which is interesting because, let's see, we've got 217 bounties claimed, 153 combat bonds. So... Rough math, that's 20, 70. So I'm at like 370 total kills. Maybe? Um, coupled with, you know, here and there, your, well, I passed it. Crap. Um, coupled with, you know, the here and there of maybe a couple of kills that didn't have a bounty or something on them or weren't part of a combat bond or something. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but. So I'm roughly at about 370 kills. So that... I don't know, maybe like 500 is probably another benchmark? Maybe? I don't know. I really don't... Ooh! Founder's World. Um, that kind of looks oddly like Earth. Hmm. I find this suspicious. Uh, oh. Need to 
Let's slow it down a little bit. I wonder if this station is any different. It probably isn't, but that would be kind of cool if there was like a custom... Oh, I can see it right there. Do do do. He he he. Um, so I guess it's not different. They should do something for Founder's World that makes it special. That would be cool. Um, maybe they did because it's taking forever to load in. Maybe. There it is. Um, I don't actually see anything that makes it look different. I guess it might be a little different. I don't know that I've seen that exact design before of like the pylons there. Those look a little new or unique. So maybe it is custom. Maybe. The world may never know. Alrighty, so let's just run buzz in here real quick. Uh, what are we at? 34 right there. Yoink. Alrighty. Pretty, getting pretty decent at my landings. I'm not gonna lie. Not the best, but pretty good. Okay, so we have actually arrived in the Pilots Federation jurisdiction. Let's go ahead and refuel, check the bullets and boards, because why not? Ooh, war zone. Let's see. Yeah, I'll take that. I know I didn't accept it either. I, I, I know. I didn't actually want to accept that right now because I don't know how long this will take, and I also don't know if I want to do missions at the moment because I may be logging off of here as soon as I'm done recording. So, we've got Cobra, Sidewinder. Eagle, all the typical ones. The Orca, which is pretty interesting, but I think it's designed more as a luxury. 51 million! Good grief. Hauler. Vulture's 4 million. Vulture. Space superiority fighter sur sacrifices hardpoint flexibility for maneuverability. Advanced manufacturing techniques have allowed the Vulture to integrate large hardpoints into its relatively small frame, offsetting the ship's limited weapon count. The Vulture excels in the role of heavy fighter in strike missions against larger, well-defended targets, but its nimble flight characteristics make it equally devastating against smaller targets. A limited cargo and passenger capability has not stopped it becoming a preferred personal transport for those who like to project a certain attitude in their dealings. So that's interesting. Uh, type 7, Type 9, an Adder. Fertilance is another cool ship I would like to get at some point, but that's 46 million. Um, Anaconda, of course. Oh, Clipper. How are you? See, that's the thing. We're 3 million away from the Clipper. That's so hard for me not to do. That it's like, uh, I just want that one so bad. But, I won't lie, the Clipper would take all of our money and not really be able to do anything. The Vulture, on the other hand, I can completely, like, deck out how I'd like it right now kind of thing. Um, I talked myself into it. We're buying it. Buy new ship and sell your current ship. Part exchange an old ship or left. Oh, it would only cost us two million if we sold the Viper. No. I can always sell the Viper later. Right now, I just want to buy a, a Vulture. Um, I'm going to pause it because I don't know how long this will take to load. Alrighty. We are in our new vulture. Look at this thing. Mm. It's a thing of beauty. It does look really cool. Rebuy cost is 166,000. 
Um, that's about to go up, actually. <laughs> um, we start out with two pulse lasers, basic discovery scanner. That makes sense. Oh, and I forgot. Let's check it out with the new camera mode. Oh, it's that way. <laughs> Go down, 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 down. Why am I going sideways and not down? Oh, look at that. Oh, look at her. It's pretty. It's so pretty. It actually kind of has a TIE fighter kind of look to it, like the cockpit there. It has this little, like, TIE fighter kind of type look to it. But it looks cool. It looks pretty epic. Um, let's check around the back. Ooh. It's got some nice thrusters on it. So cool. I'm happy. Okay. Um. One, uh, let's go into outfitting, though, where the, where the real fun begins. And one other thing, um, that I also found out about later as well, Look at, the look, at the look at the little hard point. <laughs> it's a class 3 bay. And it's got a class 1. It, it just looks like a tiny little hard point. <laughs> That's so funny. That is adorable. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is bump the power plant up to the max I can do, which is a 4? Yeah. We'll have 15 megawatts. Mm. I am going to drop some serious money right now, by the way. Just in case anyone was wondering. Um, power distributor. Let's go a... I, I think... I, I have a plan here. Um, like, I capped it out to where it was, like, everything I could do for it in the um, in the builder tool thing that I found or somebody sent me wait is that a mining laser why why mining laser go away so we have these are all class ones where's class three these are class three hard point so I don't want to do beam or burst because they use more energy um, so we've got Pulse Laser Gimbaled, um, and I think there's also a Pulse Laser Turret version, I thought, but what is these, what are these plasma accelerators? Energy projectile weapon on a fixed mount. Oh, so they're thermal too. Wait, that's thermal kinetic. Does it need ammo? Huh. Ammo size. Ammo ma okay, so they do need ammo. Whereas the pulse ones are just thermal load. Okay. Or the, or the lasers, I should say. There's Pulse Laser Class 3 at turret. Um, the only reason I'm not going with turrets on this one, actually, um, is because I want more control over when they're firing, and turrets just kind of auto-fire. Which isn't bad. Um, it's just one of those that I don't... Oh, look at that. That's so cool. Whoa. What? Wait, wait, wait. Wait. Uh, back. How do I? <laughs> Big laser? Little laser. Big laser? Little laser. <laughs> oh, man, that's awesome. Okay. Class threes. Yeah, I just love that. Little tiny little. And I love this, like, stair step thing. That, that, that. That is so cool. Dude. Those are some beast-looking lasers. 
Okay. Um, let me consult my um, my build for a second, and I will be right back. Okay, now there's a couple of things that um, I didn't end up doing with this one. For example, um, I have a couple of shield boosters on this build instead of shield cell banks, so that just the initial shields will be like 40% stronger. Um, but I don't actually have the... Um, like the shield cells in case of emergencies or anything like that. Uh, also, I don't know what the difference is with the kill warrant, wake scanner, all that. Like, here, I, I have an idea. Let's do kill warrant scanner. Because I just have it set up to buy, like, the cheapest one. So let's do... Items already fitted. Like, let's compare. So the rating is higher... The integrity is lower, power draws higher, range. I guess that's the only real difference is you have to be closer. So I'm going to do a f wake shift scanner, I think. Or wake frame shift wake scanner. Yeah. I knew I had it right. Um, I could do cargo or something else. Like, I, I did that mostly for um, power draw. Um, missile and it causes affected ordnance to lose lock. Requires ammo. Now, electronic countermeasure actually doesn't sound like it needs ammo, which intrigues me a little. Active power draw for... I don't know what that means. For, oh, when you have it activated, I guess it draws power. Ooh, that might be why. Time to charge for seconds. Okay, I'm figuring out how that works now. Automatically tracks and fires. Max ammo turreted. So for now, I think I'm going to go with a wake scanner, but there are a few other options we could end up do, uh, using. Now, let's see. Let me check and see. The thrusters was, I think, one of the only things that I had... Um, not completely maxed out uh, because of the power draw, mainly. So the power distributor was maxed, power plant was maxed, frame shift drive was maxed. Where's my frame shift? Um, this is one of those that I wanted to do. I'm not entirely sure it's necessary. An A4 would put us at 15... 0.93. What is... Oops. What is our current? 7. Okay, so it does a lot. Got it. So we'll put in a new frameshift drive. Uh, shield generator is one that I maxed out as well. Because, you know, shields. <laughs> It's kind of one of those, like, if your shields are really high, then you don't have to worry about a lot. Uh, what is it? A5? Is it the max? Power draw is super high, obviously. And that's 4 million! Ugh! Um, sensors I left, just because they're, they, it's basically just range. It's not really anything like that and life support is just time while you can survive all your canopies broken and all that kind of crap. Um, what else? Thrusters are another big one, so we'll put in... I think I did C's. 5C thrusters. And it puts it a tad over the power consumption uh, when we're done, but some of these things I have by default like turned off in the build. Um, let's see. So we've got everything, I think, set up. Now it's into the internal component, I think. So we have shield generators, and then I had cargo rack. I think I actually put a 16 in here. Not entirely sure why, but I did. I think it was just for reasons that it was like I could, so I did. 
Um, and then my class 2 bay, I put a hull reinforcement package of the, I think, D is the highest we can go. That way, if they do break through your shields, I've got some extra oomph behind it. Why is there... Oh. Never mind. Uh, wait. Did I not confirm that? Oh, crap. I thought I confirmed that. Okay. And then these last two... Again, this kind of stuff is all how you want to do it. I did a standard docking computer because you know docking computer and then I did a fuel scoop um, at the highest I could which is 1a so that we could go wherever we wanted to go so overall we've got lightweight alloys power plant uh, frame shift drive power distributor shield generator is all A. Um, thrusters or C. Life support, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I think that's I think that's about how I had it set up. Which I'm kind of, like, excited about. And I do think I'm going to take these. Oh, they're not there anymore. Dang it. Hey, where did it go? Looking for cure. Actually, we'll just head out to the nav beacon. It's no big deal. Um, let's set up... Our fire groups. Not that we really need to do anything with it. We'll just do it like that. Because I only have two. I was thinking like my Viper that had more. Now, what I what I did here, you'll notice that I'm at 106. Um, we can turn like the cargo hatch. I can turn that off until I need it. Um, and it's already in a two priority, which is good. Shield generator thrusters, all that needs to be up on a high priority. Sensors, frame shift, power plant. Hull reinforcement doesn't require anything. Um, where is like my kill warrant scanner and stuff? That should be in there. Ah, there it is. Like docking computer we'll put on a priority of two. Fuel scoop we'll put on a two. Uh, kill warrant we'll put on two. Scanner we'll put on two. And then for now, I'm going to turn the scanner off, fuel scoop, and docking computer off. So these are things we can turn on when we need them. Like if I want to refuel, pick up cargo, dock, or scan awake, etc. But other than that, we're at a 96% uh, energy, so we're not going to overload. Which is pretty freaking cool. Especially considering what we just kind of put into the ship. Um, I'm trying to think of where the nav beacon was. I think it was out closer to the star. So here we go. Here we go. Ooh, it sounds quiet. Actually, ooh. <laughs> wow, it is light and maneuverable. Woo. And we're up to a top speed of basically 230. So it's a little slow, but that's fine with me if it's if it's that Oh, there's the nap beacon. Um if it's that tanky, I guess. Ooh, look at that. Look at that turn. Yeah, this thing is this thing is going to be fun. I can already tell. It's it's like a beefy eagle, basically. Am I out of the no fire zone? No. I don't I want to get out of the no fire zone because I want to try or not try, but I wanna open up our weapons. So here's what she looks like flying. Which is so cool. So this is my new ship. Oh, I didn't put all my skulls on it. Oh well. Um, so now... Can I can I deploy my hard points? How do I... No. Okay. Okay, hard points deployed. Oh, 
Oh, look at those big old lasers. Whew. This thing is going to be fun. All right, we got it. We got to test this thing out. Um Let's see. Um just in the interest of time so that it's not so boring, um I'm going to cut this and end up at the nav beacon. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay. So here we are at the nav beacon. I didn't realize how much they did with sound, by the way. Like these ships all sound completely different. Are you anybody important? He's clean. Ooh. Oh wait, that's a that's a commander. I was like, oh, he's wanted though. Oh crap! Oh crap! I didn't want to take on a playing a player anaconda. He does have a 700,000 credit bounty, though. Ouch, 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 ouch. Do not blow up my new, my brand new ship. I will not be happy with you. Let's see, how do you do... How do you do the, the chat thing? Uh... Yeah, here. Text chat. Uh... New ship... Truce? <laughs> oh, jeez. That's scary, man. Anacondas are no joke, and as they are, not alone as a player. Alright. Anybody around here that is that has a bounty? No, they're clean. Clean. Don't want to deal with him. Uh, what are these? Oh, what about you? Are you part of this wing thing that's after this guy? Yeah, it looks like it. They don't they don't stand a chance. Well, they might. There's three of them. Man, I can't get over how maneuverable this thing is though. It does kind of sound like a helicopter, I got to admit. It's like It's kind of cool. Wow, it just like whips around. This thing is so crazy. Now, granted, I do have my pips or whatever they, everybody calls them into my engine at the moment, but still. Ouchie. Didn't exactly mean to do that. I'm just trying to scan this guy. Like, where... What are you doing, dude? You crazy lunatic. Either my ship is much faster than I expected, or he's going very slow. Okay, let's try just default and see how that works. Oh my gosh! Did I seriously just like eat through his shields in like two shots? Oh! <laughs> Oh, 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 um, let's see if you have anything that'll make you run. Let's see. Nope, he's clean. System authority vessel. Gosh, 747 grand. I'm gonna real quick. Yeah, no. There's no way I'm taking him on. What are you out here? Oh, that's another player. Well, let's see who he is. Clean. 
<laughs> nope, he's gone. Okay. Um, I don't, I don't want to be done yet. I don't like having this anaconda around, but he's actually seeming to play nice. That it's like, you know, I'm not here to. I am a bounty hunter, but I know my limits. <laughs> it's like. I'm not suicidal, especially in my new... How much does this cost me to rebuild it now? 500 grand? Ugh. I'm gonna have to do some serious bounty hunting. Um... Alright, so... Let's, um... Let's jump out of here. And, um, maybe just swing back in real quick, see if we can get another instance. Um, we're at about roughly somewhere, probably around 30, 35 minutes, something like that. I'm gonna try and keep this under 40. I know everybody's been like, let's do longer episodes, which is fine. It's very easy to do on Elite because you just get wrapped up in doing stuff and it takes a while to do anything. Um, but at the same time, I also don't want to make it like ridiculously long. I think this is the same place. E same place. Crap. I don't... I'm, I'm kind of getting the impression that him being in here is kind of taking all of the wanted people. Because it's spawning in like a bunch of authority vessels and things like that. What is this one over here? Um... No, stop locking onto him. I don't want to give him the wrong idea. Okay, what is that? Oh, is that a wake? That might that must be a wake. What is this? You're a ship. I can see your I can see your target or your uh, afterburners. Cobra, Cobra! Dang it! Why is everybody clean? All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna derp around here a minute and see if I can't find. A, um, yeah, that's a wake scanner. Uh, see if I can't find um, the uh, blah. Yeah, something with a bounty, basically. Oh, now here's something interesting. A non-player anaconda showed up. So that's intriguing. How much does he have on him? 135? I can do that. Whoop. Seriously? Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Uncool, bro. Seriously? If I actually thought I stood more of a chance, I would try and fight him just because for being a jerk face. But I don't think with the way he's tearing through my shields, I'd actually last that long. So yeah. Okay, so it's still giving me the same stupid instance with this guy, which is annoying. Um, but there's also some other things like a lack on over here that intrigue me. But this probably isn't going to be wanted. Dang it! Nothing's wanted. Nav beacons used to be a good place to hang out for bounties, but no. Now, not so much. Um, tell you what, we might actually jump over because of this crazy ma maniac that's sitting on this point. We might actually go to one of these extraction sites or belt clusters or whatever. Um, so I'll see you guys there and see if we can find something interesting. So, I landed in this belt cluster and all of a sudden I'm greeted with... Oh. Wait a minute. Where, where do they all go? I had a bunch of stuff on my radar a second ago. Like a python and a bunch of stuff. Where did that Where did that go to? Ooh, an adder. They... Scan detected. Who's scanning me? Hmm. Which one's scanning me? System authority. Dang it. Come on, somebody be illegal. <sighs> Crap, man.
man. I can't find anybody that's got bounties or anything. Might be because we're in the Pilots' Federation. Like, you'd actually have to have bounties in the Pilots' Federation, I think. I'm not really sure how that works exactly. But anyways, I'm so tempted just to attack something, just to try out my guns. But these things... Um, here's an idea. We'll test it on a rock. How's that? So obviously we can't mine, really. But we can we can test our power stuff, so. So it already is not going down that much, and that's on normal. If I were to put it into something like this, like I usually do, my shields and my weapons, then it goes down even less. And how's our maneuverability? Our top speed is 190. Or no. 210 with one one blip in the um yeah, one blip in the, um, thing. Oh, here's an idea. No, they're all miners. They're probably not going to have bounties. I was going to say I could scan them and maybe see if they have bounties somewhere else. Anyways, I think we're out of time for this episode, so we're going to wrap things up. But let me know what you guys think about where we should go next and such um, for some good uh, target practice. Uh, let me know, actually, if you know of any... Um, conflict zones. Obviously there was one in like the LF9 or something because they gave me a war zone uh, bounty. Um, so, well I didn't take it unfortunately. But anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments. In the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and I'll see you all next time. Peace!